Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you guys. And the next last episode, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what is going to happen. Um, if you're joining me early today, you already know what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So, um, wow, guys, last episode. Um, I feel like we've just been, like, getting better and better by the episode. And that makes sense because they're building things up more and more each episode, um, for sure. Um, but, of course, the... The huge kind of cliffhanger slash shocking moment of the episode was, you know, that last scene of John slash new cap slash prob I don't know, probably not going to be cap anymore after this. Um, really, really losing it after Lamar's death and um, killing one of the... Um, flag smasher super soldiers like right out in the open I kept on saying like in broad daylight I think what I meant to say was like in public in a crowded place in front of people but you know I was I was emotionally <laughs> distraught at that time so I probably used the wrong wording um but yeah, uh, with people with their phones out and everything not that it would have been okay by any means had it just happened like behind closed doors but I mean I, I guess any any chance they had of trying to, like, it sounds so smarmy to say, like, damage control the situation, like, in a PR way. But, I mean, yeah, that's, that's any hope of that's gone. Because it's just, like, the, it's out there. It's out in the open. Everyone caught it on their um, cell phones. Um, now, I know that, you know, internationally... It seems like the Flag Smashers are kind of seen as, like, terrorists. So, I mean, I don't know if you could try and... I, there's just, you know, guys, there's just nothing... There's just nothing um, that's going to kind of soften the, the image of Cap just, like, brutally beating a guy to death with the shield and then standing there with the bloody shield. Um... So there you go. So I don't know. I really do. I have no idea like where it's going from here, but it cannot be. It's not going to be good for John. Let's put it that way. Um, and he's been kind of like hanging by a thread for a while. And in a way, I, I think they've done a great job of like, while making him so like, in a way, like grating on your nerves, um, making him somewhat sympathetic, at least in my perspective, because, you know, he he has been through a lot and he, you know, I think they, they didn't come out and say this last episode, but they implied that there was a lot that happened when he was a soldier that, you know, maybe there's even like some t PTSD going on here. I don't know. Um, but it really raises an interesting question of like the whole episode last episode, I feel like they were really pushing the idea of should this kind of power even be out there? at all period um and if you take like a very staunch you know absolutely not approach like zemo the thing is if you're going that far in that direction you know then then superheroes in general like should there you know should there be no power like that out there whatsoever and like i think like if you're like me, you're like, no, I want my superheroes, but, but like those superheroes can control it and everything. But how do you tell who can control it? Um, it's, it's really tough. You know, I think you would have to be an excellent judge of character and know the person very personally, i.e. the way in which Steve wanted to pass on the shield to Sam, um, to really be able to make that call, and I don't know if you can just, I don't know if you can make that kind of decision just based on, like, somebody's resume, you know, because you never know how someone's going to handle that. Um, and, you know, like, M Lamar was saying last episode, power just makes you more you. I don't know how I feel about that and if I agree with it, but I think 
you can kind of, by that same reasoning, say, um, if you take someone who may have been dealing with PTSD or, or something of uh, like that anyway, and then give them the huge responsibility of the shield itself, and also then that individual takes super serum. If it makes you more you, what does that mean? Does that mean that everything you were feeling, all of that, um, like not measuring up and pressure and um, anger and frustration and everything, like does it just amplify all of that? Because I don't know if I can sit here and say, like, John is a horrible person. I just, I think it's a, ooh, it's it's a tricky thing to try. And I, I would not want to be the person in charge of deciding who gets the role of Captain America next. Let's put it that way. That is a very, very, very tricky thing. And I think there's a great argument for, like, Maybe, maybe no one, except Sam, though. <laughs> I feel like Sam could totally handle it. Um, and, and honestly, watching how Lamar was dealing with things throughout last episode, um, I, I think, I, you know, I can't say for sure, but I think he at least would have handled it better than John did. It kind of looked that way. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's hard to say unless you actually are in someone's shoes or in that position. Um, but, I mean, he was definitely keeping a cooler head about everything and seemed to kind of have a, a better perspective. Um, and it's, I don't know, like, they didn't go, they probably went into this, but I didn't, to my knowledge, they didn't go into this a whole lot, but in that scene where they're talking in the last episode, it sounded like they have very similar credentials. I don't know for sure, you know, on paper, how how everything looks. But just judging from what I'm seeing of the show, it looks like their credentials are, are fairly similar. Like, do they have a lot of the same accolades that they were, they were talking about in the last episode. They were um, fighting alongside one another. So, yes, maybe? Like, well, I think Lamar would have done a lot, but I don't think Lamar would have ended up in this situation. Let's just put it that way. Although, it's again, it's very hard to ever say unless, you know, you actually watch it play out. But I, I was feeling that way the whole episode, like, I think Lamar should have been capped. I think Sam should. <laughs> I, I respect Sam's decision. I know he must have had a good reason for it. And I think a lot of his reasoning, um, you know, he had mentioned in the first episode that it felt like it belonged to somebody else. And that maybe that should, that should just like, the shield should just rest with Steve. I don't know if Steve is dead or not, but, you know, he's not around. So, um the shield should just kind of be put to rest if Steve's not around. And I will respect his decision, but my lord, watching him in action, I was just like, this this man could be Captain America. So, so, I, I, easily, I don't want to say it would be an easy thing. Certainly, it's a huge responsibility, but I mean, he has what it takes. Come on. Um, but I respect his decision. Um... That's certainly not something you would you would want to have to feel like you were forced into, you know. Um, but yeah, we're in a whole big mess. Also, I'm going to quickly point out that Zemo continues to be wildly entertaining. He is very entertaining. And boy, am I glad that we had this series to kind of like get to see him in a little bit of a different light. Um, oh my god. Um, the opening scene where we get to see Bucky and Wakanda, who is so powerful. And the fight scene, oh my god, when they finally show up. And, you know, I have to say it was nice of them to even give him, like, eight hours. Like, really considering, <laughs> considering everything. They could have been like, mm-mm. We're, we're taking out Zemo now. He's ours. Thank you very much. Um... But boy, that fight scene was pretty epic. So, yeah, guys, we had a lot going on last episode. Um, 
just a lot just just a lot of like they're doing a really good job of building up lots of shades of gray here because even like Carly in one scene I'm like oh my gosh she's really she's not bad you know like she does have a point to a degree and like I was so in agreement with Sam and then she like straight up threatens Sam's sister and I'm like girl no there are some lines you just do not cross that man was trying to help you and <laughs> you go and threaten his family and then she's like no no it's okay I just wanted to get you here I just wanted to, I just wanted to ask you to team up with me I wasn't gonna really do anything you you really Carly you need to you need to you need to reassess a lot of your choices. <laughs> Not saying you don't have some great intentions um, and very noble and justified ones to to a great degree, but um, but no. Um, but again, like it raises a question of like if you have if you have a cause and you actually had the power to carry it out, what would that look like? Because it's very easy to. Um, lose sight of true like just objective right and wrong um when you have something that's so important to you that it, it would be easy to get caught up in it to the point where um as long as you're getting your job done your mission done that is right you decide what's right um and i'll say it again i just think that steve and Sam both have this very, very um, clear understanding of, like, where that line is. So, all right, guys, I've ranted enough. Oh, my Lord, I've ranted a lot. Okay, <laughs> so this is a long episode, so I want to jump right in. I want to see what happens the next last episode, so let's get started. Uh, what are you, time to go, what, wait a second now. What are you, uh, you can't just walk out of there. You saw what happened, you know what I had to do. I killed him because I had to. He, he no. He did He didn't. He wasn't even the one who. Road. You explain what happened. They may consider your record. We don't want well. anyone else to get hurt. Listen to him, please. You gotta give me the shield, man. Uh oh. -uh. So that's what this is. He almost got me. You oh, please. Mistake. You don't want to do this. Yeah, we do. Fuck. Bucky knows what's got to be done. He knows they're going to have to stop him. Good lord. He's, yeah, see, he's not, he's not in his right mind. Oh, God, please, no, don't. If Sam gets hurt, I'm just letting you guys know right now. Ooh, oh, no, he's. Yeah, bu Bucky's, Bucky's got more experience, though. Oh, and he's, oh, he's, oh, he's. Oh, he's, he's got it. Oh, oh no, his arm! No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, oh, Sam, can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, 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 no, it's out, it's out, no, it's out, no, open. Oh, I feel like it. It, oh no, I was really hoping he'd get it. I was really hoping he'd get it. Oh, good lord. Oh, God, Sam. Oh, God. I am Captain America. No! No! No, sir! You! Oh! Did he just. Oh! Huh? No, no, it's no. You have proven yourself not in a good way to, oh God, and there it is out in the open again, and they're all down. And B Bucky's got it. Bucky's got it, okay. 
Okay. <gasps> it belongs to you, Sam. And I, I, uh, Sam, I just respect you so much and I respect your decision, but my Lord, you have proven time and time again that you can do this. That's a powerful image, him wiping the blood off. A lot of powerful imagery on the show. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna take it? Sit tight and just chill. Sometimes Explain. there's nothing to do until there's something to do. That's bizarrely wise. Well, I'm a bizarrely wise man, Sam. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm glad he's back. Thanks, Doris. For sure. Wait, yo, you forgot the wings. Keep them. What does that mean? What does that mean, Sam? You've got the shield and you left your wings. That either means you are you are feeling very broken right now, which it would make me very sad, or you have decided that perhaps you will Oh boy. I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation fully thereby have misunderstood the circumstances. Oh, please. Negotiation. No. Is a man just asking to be heard. It is a man. I understand that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I only ever did what you asked of me, what you told me to be and trained me to do, and I did it. And I did it well. You built me. He they they kind of made him. I could kind of see that, you know. I am Captain America. I wish I wish you'd stop saying that. And if you continue to demean and denigrate the they don't know he has the super serum this council you will and he's just walking out oh and they don't know that he doesn't have the shield right okay all right now these boots are not made for walking valentina allegra de fontaine actually it's ah! valentina allegra de I would have killed the bastard too. Nobody in there is mad at you about that. I mean, you would have been doing him a favor if you'd taken out the whole lot. But these uh, guys and ties, you know, they got a whole thing to protect. Excuse me. Oh, what this is not you? good for him. You did the right thing. Taking the serum. Yeah, of course I know that. But I'll tell you something. Oh. made you very, very certain people. I, I Wait, who is second that? Second best choice. Who? Oh, by the who, way, who are you with? You? I know you don't have it. How do you know this? Dirty state secret. It doesn't really belong to the government. It's kind of a legal gray area. I'll be in touch. Who is that individual with? How does she know so much? What is happening? There's, there's nothing on it. Oh, that's maybe that's a point. <laughs> she'll she'll call you. Says here that GRC accused them of harboring and abetting international fugitives, so they raided the place and shut it down. No. All those people. How many times do we have to pay with our lives just to be citizens of this goddamn planet? But... The movement is ready. <sighs> They're not going to stop. Don't worry. I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Imagine my relief. <laughs> I literally programmed you to kill James. Do what he Don't. Did. Don't. He's, but he's not, he's not that person. Did you come here thinking you were going to shoot him? 
Oh, I guess he did. I guess so. Oh. Bucky. There we go. And now they're okay. Well, then he's still probably going to die then, but. She died while I was in jail. Oh, no. A handful of us got shot up with different versions of that soon. Oh. They don't tell us what it is. They tell us it's tetanus. They sent us on missions. What? We want to go. The others want to stay some of them start dying off. Oh my and God. A couple of them. So I bust out of the facility one night. And I brought them boys back. Not that it made a damn bit of difference. It wasn't long before it was only me left. Oh my God. What did I get for saving their lives? story might get out so they erased me my God. history but they've been doing that for 500 years <laughs> pledge allegiance to that my brother they will never let a black man be captain of Self-respecting black man would ever want to be. Because of how awful the country has been. I so wish that none of that was true. In ten years we'll have this thing fixed. Oh, are they fixed? Oh my god. One more time, right? Oh, they are selling it, but they're fixing it. Bennett and Ellings' dad cannot get up before noon. Kids keep showing up hungry, but are too proud to ask for any help. And you're just like mom Aww. feeding every kid. In the She's feeding the kids. Now, how many people still owe mom and dad something? All of them. Hmm. Well, for sure. They were very active in their community. It might be time to call in a few of those favors. Oh, are we gonna rally help? Oh, they're all coming together to help. Oh, <laughs> oh Bucky! I love you, Bucky. Just dropping this off. Did he wait? Did he get the wings fixed? Is that what that is? Oh, are we gonna do a boat fixing montage here? I think we're about to do a boat fixing montage. Oh, he's like, what's going on here? <laughs> I wonder if this is the album they were talking about. It's gonna take a lot of work, but you know what? I love, oh, and there he is using the, okay. There, he's like really show off. Okay. <laughs> Just stay here. The people in this town are the most welcoming people in the world. They don't care if you wear small t-shirts or if you have six toes or if your mom's your aunt. If you okay, I get it. I, I, what? You know, but don't flirt with my sister. My oh. Have Carlos cut you up and feed you to the fish. Okay. Whoa. He's the one who killed our boy? Yes. And I would never let the person who did that get away. But he wa uh, he wasn't. He was not peace in that. Never ever seen you boys have been through together. I know 
He's resting easier, knowing that the man who's responsible got his justice. Here. I can give you double this time. What? I promise you won't regret saying yes. So what's it gonna be? Uh, what's, what? What's this about? Oh my god, guys! Are you playing with the shield? That does not seem safe! However, how could you... How could you resist, though? Huh? What? What are we doing? What's... Hi, Sarah. I told you specifically that the water pump was not the problem, and yet here you are. Yep. I don't come up to this guy to tell you how to barrel roll or whatever, so don't come down here and start talking <laughs> things you clearly don't understand. Wow. Bye. Wow. Off. Oh! Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate you. Oh! Away! Off with you! Get away from the water pump! Oh! Oh my god. The legacy of the oh. shield is complicated, to say the least. Mm. When Steve told me what he was planning, I don't think either of us really understood what it felt like for a black man to be handed the shield. How could we? How are you an apology? Mm. It's just that shields closest thing I've got left to a family. Aww. So when you retired it, it made me feel like I had nothing left. You have the Sam it. now. It doesn't matter what Steve thought. He you gotta stop you, looking to other people to tell you who yeah. you are. Right. Let me ask you. You still having those nightmares? All the time. Hmm. Means I remember he told him. Still you were stopping all the wrongdoers you enabled as a winter soldier. But you, you weren't. You closure. That's you not immense. people and say sorry. Because you think it'll make you feel better. Right? Oh. But you gotta make them feel better. You gotta go to them and be of service. I'm sure there's at least one person in that book who needs closure about something. Oh, we all know. Start with one. Is he going to start with the person I think he's going to start with? Good talk. Sam is so wonderful. He's so wise. I love the friendship. Nope. We're not that good. <laughs> the professionals, definitely. And uh, we're partners, co workers. But co workers. A mutual friend. His friend's now gone. So we're a couple guys. I can look so you're <laughs> just a couple guys. Oh, I love their friendship, even if they can't quite admit it. Stop. <gasps> oh. You can't say that. But but it's so important to them. So you really gonna let Isaiah Bradley get in your head? You gonna let him decide what you do next? Isaiah's been to hell and back. If I was in his shoes, I'd probably feel the exact same way. But that kind of thinking is what makes pain and sacrifice. him so wonderful. To stand up and keep fighting. Oh my god. Oh my lord, tell me this is happening. Tell me this is happening. Oh! Yes. Look at that, the younger generation just being able to reach out and touch what that represents. I love that. Haven't you heard? We are criminals. 
George gets his pen uh, uh. and we get a killer. It's a Oh, that's like the call that we heard earlier. Tonight we go to battle. All of us. Oh dear. Sheeps. She came out and said they were criminals. I feel like she's crossed like a line, you know what I mean? I want to oh show I want to see. I want to see. You you can do this, Sam. You can do this. Oh, please don't be the end of the episode. Oh my god. <laughs> What is he, what are we do? what are we doing? What is he doing? He, is he making his own shield or something? What is he doing? Oh, he's, okay, 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 okay. I thought he was gonna make his own shield. Oh. Oh, he is, okay. Oh, is that, oh, is that, um, did that belong to Lamar? He is making his own shield. All right, guys. <laughs> wow, what an episode. Um. I just am heartbroken about what we learned about Isaiah as if his story wasn't just sad and infuriating enough and I so wish that a lot of what he was saying was not true. And I, I, I love the scene between Bucky and Sam where Bucky apologizes and tells him like, you know, and it's true, like you, you wouldn't know how that would feel. There's, there's no way to under, to really understand. And I just... I love Sam so much for for knowing for knowing that for acknowledging you know Isaiah and just this whole different world that has to be dealt with on a daily basis um and I just, I, I can't even imagine how it would be to try and um, stay hopeful despite that, but he is, and I love that, and <laughs> um, I won't get into a huge spiel because kind of like what they were saying on the show, like, I can't, I can't really understand I will never know how it feels, you know? Um, but I just, I hate that so much of that is true. I hate that, you know, um, in so many ways that how hard it would be to uh, believe in your country because of the way that the country has treated you. And none of that is fiction, and that's what makes it just so. Well, I should have I should have restocked my tissue or something. I'm sorry, I did not see it coming. Like I knew that was going to be a good episode, but I did not know it was going to be that good and that moving. Um, but wow, powerful, powerful episode, and I I want to live in a world where. <laughs> Where Sam is Cap. I don't know if that's... I mean, he's training with the shield. And it kind of... It sounded like he um, was not going to let anything stop him. But I think he also has his wings back. So is he going to be Cap with wings? Is he going to be... Or is he going to be something altogether different? Um, I don't know. But I'm really excited to find out. And watching him open the, the case at the end, I was just like... Oh, Oh my god show me show me show me you just know it's gonna be epic when we get to see it all put together um so wow guys oh what a good episode 
I believe in him. I know he can do this. And um, it, it's very sad that uh, um, we see Carly here has just seemingly just really embraced the role. Like she was kind of on the fence before. She did not see herself as a criminal. She saw herself as like a like someone who fought for for justice and everything and she was to a degree but the way she was going about it was hurting a lot of people um and it seems like here she's just she's not she's not trying to um stay in any lines as far as uh you know the the legality morality of this goes um I think she's kind of crossed the threshold, which is really sad. Um, I love the scene with Zemo and Bucky. Oh my god, where he just shows him like the bullets not being in the gun. And so now Zemo's going to be, um, it sounds like, um, imprisoned in um, Wakanda. So, uh, yeah. Um, I, I like the kind of like weird understanding they had with each other at the end of that scene, but um, I really enjoyed Zemo, I gotta say. I, I enjoyed him in this series. Um, not sure what was going on in that scene with Sharon. I'm sure that'll come back around. I, I, I don't know if it connected to like what we saw later, but I will get that cleared up before the next reaction. Um, I love Sam and Bucky's friendship, even if they're just they're just a couple guys. They're just a couple guys. But I think Sam was really right that like, you know, you you have to let go of like what other people think of you, even if it's like in a good way, you can't rely on that. Um and Bucky's gotta go make his own way now and he's gotta make amends for this for the sake of the other person. And I think I know who he's going to visit next. And I'll tell you what, I will restock the tissues for that because that is going to be super sad and really good. Um, all right, let's talk a little bit about John because I, on the one hand, I really, I know how much he cared for Lamar and I didn't want Lamar to die either, but he, he has, so this goes back to what I was saying earlier. I feel like he's just kind of, he's lost sight of the bigger picture maybe like he's not he's not wrong for for feeling the way he does about Lamar's death at all but he's clearly not in the right mindset to be in charge <laughs> of the cap responsibility and the thing is it's not just about um how he feels or um it, it's that kind of responsibility you have to consider who else is going to be impacted by your actions and the truth of the matter is that in the mindset he's in right now he's dangerous with that power um but he's got the super serum anyway, so it's not like the, the you know, the, the the shield. I guess he can just make one in his garage. <laughs> he's got the super serum, so. Um, oh, wow. So are we going to get, like, a showdown between Sam with the shield and John with his garage shield? I guess I could see it going that way. I could. Um, guys, I love that episode. I did a big long rant at the beginning, so I will wrap up my rant here. Um, but I cannot wait to see how this is going to end. I think it's been a phenomenal series and I'm sure they're going to take it out on a really great note as well. So, um, wow, great episode. I loved it. I hope you love watching along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.